Okay. So as promised earlier, I'm going to show how I set up a game every time I set it up. Um, to start with, this looks fantastic. Um, it fills the whole screen. You can see what's going on. It'd be fun to play. This game is actually probably not the best example because it actually does look really good and doesn't look particularly stretched either across the X or the Y axes. Um, but I'm still going to play with it because that's what I do. I like to tweak things. Um, I want it to look more like it does on a real pinball machine. So I'm less concerned about, um, well, you'll see. Anyway, let me get out of here. That was awesome. The first thing I do whenever I start up with one of these is I always go to the backdrop and then I look down and I see here, yep, it's still X ro XY rotation is 270 and the scale Right now it's 1.05, so not much adjustment. So I'm just going to change that to a 1. And I hit tab, I'm going to go down here. And then the Y is at 1.166. I'm going to change that to 1. V, Z, or Z, take your pick, American, Canadian, don't care. Um, also a 1. So now I can go back here to the main table and hit F6. And from the F6, now we can see my changes. I've got these gray borders on the side. This is actually closer to the real proportions of the pinball machine. Now, I'm going to be using the Magna buttons to the Magna Save buttons to change the variables. Right now, mine starts up with the environmental emission, so I'm going to change that to the inclination, where I can go ahead and I can change. So I've got a lot of control. I'm using the flippers to, to make my adjustments real time. And uh, we can see right under there. That's what it looks like from the bottom. But that's silly. Let's get back to something usable. So I'm going to just do a little bit of inclination here. Now you'll notice that it does show gray around the sides. I don't care about that as much. I want to play the game. And when I play at the arcade or you know a real pinball machine, I've got that vanishing line, um, and it, it's more pronounced than what I have on my screen. Um, you'll also notice my screen is tilted up. That's also so I get a better view. But again, it's all personal preference. You can play with it. Um, so the inclination is pretty easy to show off. The uh, field of view is a little harder to show. Um, it, you can see how it stretches out back a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do kind of extreme for this first demo, and then I'll come back and change it again later. Um, now, one of the things you'll notice is that the flippers are really tall, and the bumper caps are weird, and these gates are tall. It just looks goofy. Um, that's the layback is the next thing we're going to change. So I can adjust the layback, and that brings it all shorter top to bottom. And I want to play with that until I get the flippers, the spinners, the bumper caps... I want those all to look about right. So when that looks right, I'm going to skip through the scales. I don't, I don't actually play with scaling at all. I don't like it stretched. So the next thing I'm playing with is the offset. Now, I don't use this part of the play field or this part of the play field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to zoom in a lot. So I can still just see the edge of the plunger here. Um, I don't need to read the scorecard. I know what these are. Um, this gives me a good layout. Now I'm left with a, a choice with the X offset. Um, I've got this lock bar graphic if I want to keep that. Um, or, because I don't really mind the gray space, I'm paying attention to the game, I can see what's going on with the game. I'm going to bring it down here so I just see the apron and the flippers. And this looks pretty good. So um, now I'm going to quit out of here. I'm going to hit F5. And I'm going to see what does it look like. Let's throw a quarter in there. Let's fire it up. Um, now what I'm looking for is how the ball scales as it goes further up. Now if you look, it's really tiny. Um, I don't like that. I don't like how tiny that ball is. See, when it comes up, it's really big up close. And it's tiny, tiny when it's far away. Um, that's not something that appeals to me. So let's quit out of here. Go back into our camera mode, hit F6 again. And I'm going to go back to my field of view, and I'm going to bring it a bit flatter. 
So I know from experience that that field of view is going to change how the ball scales when it's moving forward and back. Um, now I can also change the inclination back a little bit, get a little more of that. And I'm going to go back to my X, my Z offset, or Z offset, take your pick again. Um, and I'm going to zoom in a bit. So again, I've got, I can still see all my lanes, I still see the plunger. Um, I'm going to move the X offset a little bit and get back to where I see the apron. Um, that looks pretty good. It's not as much, it's not a very pronounced um, keystoning effect up here this time, but let's see what it's like to play. Let's uh, take a look now. And uh, so we're going to let it start up. I'm going to throw a quarter in there. Let's give it a, a nice plunge. That's a, some pretty bouncy physics. But now the ball stays a little more consistent in the size. Um, this is more like what I'm used to in the real world. Um, and again, it's my perception. It's what I like. Um, and I do this with every single game when I do the setup. So now I've got my gameplay the way I like it. And I can go about enjoying the game. Um, one thing I will point out, this, this game it didn't happen um, in other games it's more pronounced. I do find the plunger adjusts position. For some reason, when I make these particular adjustments, the plunger will move forward um, more than it should. So to, to quickly adjust that, I'm going to go out of here. I'm going to go to my edit. I'm going to select an element. And it's keyboard struck, so I can type PL. That takes me down to plastics. Um, here's the plunger. I double click on that. I go down here. I get the colors of format. I go to the position. I go to the Y position on this one. And I add somewhere between 12 and 15 to the number. So right now this says it's 1832. I'm going to make it uh, 1845. So not a real big adjustment. So 18.45 is our total adjustment there. Um, I'm going to go back to the game. I'm going to launch it again. Let's see where our plunger difference is. Of course, I didn't zoom. Um, but you can see it's back just a little bit further by adding 12 to 15 to the Y value on the plunger. That's really important for games that have an auto ball launch because if you don't do that sometimes what happens is the ball sits too far forward you don't get the ball launch and it doesn't work eh, it, it's an easy fix to do but uh, hopefully this gives you some insight into um, what I do for prepping every single game and why I don't play with other people's POV files um, oh and when you quit um, we'll hit alt F4 I'll quit and it says do you want to save your changes if you want to save the changes, save them. Let's say you really screwed things up and you don't want to save them, don't save them. But anyway, that's pinball. Hope you enjoy.